Here is an introduction to basic statistics for measurements. When a measurement is accurate, then it is close to being correct. The closer the measurement is to the correct answer, the more accurate it is. Precision describes both how finely you are making the measurements and hence how consistent your measurements are. Here are some demonstrations of the difference. In this example, the average of all measurements is very near the correct answer. However, because each measurement is far from the others, this is very inconsistent and hence imprecise. This is usually an indication of a random source of error. Here is an example of measurements that are very consistent and hence are precise, but they miss the target. Hence, these measurements are inaccurate. This is usually an indication of systematic sources of error. When there are multiple factors in play, there can be a combination of both random and systematic sources of error, in which case it might show up as a trend along one of those factors, but randomized along the other. To practice understanding the difference between accuracy and precision, let's talk about measurement averages and standard deviation. As an illustrative example, we will use measurements of the height of basketball legend Michael Jordan. Suppose a class of students, 24 of them, made measurements of his height using a measuring tape. Here are the results of those measurements. When we take an average of those measurements, then we find that it is what is reported to be the correct measurement of 78 inches. However, not all measurements agree. There are some that are higher and some that are lower. If I were to plot the number of measurements 
versus height in a histogram, this is what I would get. Notice that this class produced fairly accurate results as most measurements were pretty darn close to the correct answer. Because their spread was very low, that also means these measurements were highly precise. One mathematical way of describing the spread of the measurements is known as standard deviation. The precise mathematical definition will not be discussed here. For our purposes, it is enough that you understand that one standard deviation is the distance in value of the measurement within which two thirds of the measurement can be found. When the value of standard deviation is very small compared to the value of the measurement, it is considered a highly precise value. Here is a different example. Suppose another class was not so lucky and they could only guess at the height of Michael Jordan based on pictures. Here are their guesses. When you plot this the same way as before on a histogram, you will notice that less measurements were accurate and the spread was a lot larger. You will even notice that precision was lost as the guesses were only precise to the full inch. Looking back at the average, it is off and the standard deviation is considerably larger. This measurement cluster was less accurate and less precise.